What's going on guys, my name is Dan Vass and today I'm going to be giving you a complete tutorial for how to use Jungle Scout. And I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use Jungle Scout to not only start a successful Amazon FBA business, but also do various tasks uh, to do with Amazon when it comes to keyword research, when it comes to listing optimization and creating listings. There's just so many features in this amazing tool. I've actually been using Jungle Scout since 2017 myself for my own Amazon FBA business and I've never looked back. I've never actually had to use any other uh, tool out there. I know that there's other tools out there like Helium 10, AMZ Scout, and to be honest, I just haven't had to use the other tools because it's always done an incredible job for me. I, fi I find that uh, the way that it shows products and how much money they make is always honestly very accurate. And we're going to look at that live here. We're going to be comparing the numbers that Jungle Scout shows to what Amazon is showing because Amazon, there's actually a way to see how many units uh, a listing is selling on Amazon now from Amazon itself, which is a new feature for 2024. So let's dive right in. And if you have been searching for videos on how to use Jungle Scout or whether uh, Jungle Scout is something that you you need to start your Amazon business, this video will answer all those questions and will show you how to actually use it to its fullest extent. So now I'm on the Jungle Scout website. This is how it looks right here. And if we scroll down, here I am. There you go, in beautiful New Zealand, living the freedom lifestyle. And uh, as you can see here, I wrote without Jungle Scout, there would have been a 0% chance I would go on to start a life-changing and successful Amazon FBA business. And you can see some other brands that uh, are very proud to be backing Jungle Scout. There's a lot of e-commerce brand owners that use this tool and they have a huge score, an insanely good score on Trustpilot, uh, 4.8 for uh, 3,927 reviews. So let's first of all go through the plans, right? Because obviously um, I don't want you to spend too much money, especially money that, you know, when you're starting an Amazon FBA business, you're starting this venture, you want to make sure that uh, you're, you know, you're uh, being responsible for every dollar that you spend. You don't want to be spending uh, money in advance if you haven't made money yet. I completely understand that. So here are the different plans, okay? And so uh, there's a few different components of Jungle Scout. You got the Chrome extension, which is this thing right up here on the top right, which we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to use to its fullest extent. And then you also have the web app. It used to be called the web app. I think now they just call it the Jungle Scout suite or just the uh, you know product database, the keyword scout. Basically, I would say the suite uh, has all of those features online. So we're going to go through those two. And as you can see, there's different plans. So they ask you to pay monthly or to pay annually. So what I did when I first started selling on Amazon, this was the most cost effective option for me. I actually bought Jungle Scout off of a YouTuber's affiliate link. This was way back in 2017. So, so an affiliate link is basically a, uh, a discounted link from like an influencer or YouTuber like myself, where they partner up with Jungle Scout in this case, uh, and they offer uh, cheaper rates for their subscribers. And so that's exactly what I've done. I've been Jungle Scout's partner uh, for many years now, since 2017, since I've been sharing videos on how to start selling on Amazon and how to uh, run online businesses and make money online. And so um, honestly, I've loved working with them. They've been absolutely incredible. And so I told them, I was like, here's exactly what my viewers want, what my subscribers want. And so they created a one month and a three month and a one year package. And this basically includes everything, right? And so we can see here that the one month is $59. So regularly it's 69. Uh, the most common one is three months because it usually takes about, I would say two, three months to actually find an Amazon product to sell. Uh, yeah, some people find it in like three weeks, sure. But finding a successful Amazon product is not something that you really wanna rush into and you really wanna make sure that you're doing the necessary product research, the necessary uh, analysis and the necessary uh, market uh, validation when you're actually doing this. And I make videos uh, on that, on those topics here. So um, let's compare it to the plans on their website, right? So here, upon first glance, it looks cheaper on the website. But the truth is, first of all, it, it has pay annually. So if you were to select, uh, let's say the starter plan, right? If we click, uh, click here, we can see here that uh, you can't see historical trends, which is actually very important. And then basically you get a limited version of everything here. So like a limited amount of searches for the product database per month, which is amazing to find product. Uh, basically, I'll show you how to actually use that to find good products. It's a great product research method that I've used many times and that I honestly still use. Uh, because it has a database of all of Amazon's products and you can put in the exact criteria for success and it will show you product. So honestly, I would not get the $29 a month plan because it's everything is very limited. And if we switch to monthly, it turns to $49 per month. When here for one month for $10 more, you basically get complete unlimited access to all of these, right? Nothing's limited. And here, uh, as you can see, everything is very limited. So this is almost like a grandfathered plan. And uh, what I did was when I started, I got a three month plan. So $149, if we, uh, that would be the equivalent right here of the brand owner for three months, you're saving a massive amount of money because you're not, you don't have a limit of how many products uh, you can get. So as you can see for what you get, it is obviously cheaper using the link. The link is down in the description below. You can grab it there. 
All right, so now once you purchase Jungle Scout, you're going to log into your account and you're gonna see a dashboard right here. This is what I call the suite. So just this is the online version of the tool. There's also the Chrome extension. So you're gonna to wanna to download that as well. That's what you're actually gonna use when you're going through Amazon listings and Amazon products, you're doing your product research and you're checking how much money products are making. So let's go through the features of this Jungle Scout dashboard. So first of all, you can actually connect your seller account here. At the beginning, obviously, if you're not selling yet, then you don't need to do this. I just have an empty test account connected here for demonstration purposes and so um, as you can see on the left we have a bunch of different features and I'll show you what my favorite uh, features are so first of all if we go to the toolbox we have sales estimator we have listing grader for product research and this is really where you're gonna spend a lot of time we have the product database and so what the product database is as you can see you can select your selling country because Amazon has marketplaces in every single one of these countries here and Jungle Scout does support these countries uh, and then you can select the best categories. And so I'm gonna make a video on the best categories to sell on Amazon in 2024, as well as in 2025. Uh, and so once you select those categories, you can then select your price. You can select you know, the, the, the revenue and things like that. You can hit search and it's going to literally go through all of Amazon and find products for you. So we're gonna do that here in this video later on. I'm just going to, I'm just giving you a bird's eye view, uh, just a quick demonstration of the features in there. There's also a product tracker tool here, as you can see. And this tool allows you to track products. You can basically add like a group of ASINs. So an ASIN is a product and it will track um, basically like units sold per day and revenue, things like that. So it's really useful if you find a product and you add your competitors in there and you can you know, uh, basically keep it all tracked within one uh, window here. And it's going to show you how it's doing on a daily basis. And it's going to really help you make that decision whether you wanna invest in the product or not. So then if we keep going, we go to the suppliers. We also have the supplier database. And I love this uh, feature because the supplier database allows you to find your competitor supplier. And this is really helpful if you are trying to figure out which country your supplier is sourcing the products from. For example, if I type in Gymshark, which we all know is that, you know, the big gym clothing brand, we can see here right away, their supplier pops up. It's JM Fabrics Limited from South Nayapara. You can even search it on Google Maps. They have a, uh, a version here and that's in Bangladesh, as you can see. So clearly they source their clothing from Bangladesh. You can also see that they also supply American Eagle, Guess, right? So it's not just Gymshark. Um, there's a whole uh, variety of other brands. Like the vast majority of these big brands that we have in the West, they're sourced from the same factories uh, overseas. That's just how it is, right? Adidas, right? And this one is in the Philippines. Gymshark sources some things from there. Right? You can even see the, the categories of, of units. And you can try this for any, any brand that, uh, let's say you find a product and let's say your competitor is a brand, you can just put it in here and you can try finding their supplier that way. And how this works is it will actually go through all of the historical import records in the United States. Um, and Jungle Scout basically has access to these and uh, you know that's how they found this. So there are like import records where the records are kept of all the you know all the goods that are shipped into the United States and uh, they are connected to the supplier's uh, name as well as to the brand's uh, the brand's name right and you can see here there's also a supplier tracker which looks really cool and then we have keyword scout keyword scout is very useful because you can put in the ASIN of any product on Amazon and it will show you what keywords it's ranking highest for and that's very very useful because you need to know that as an Amazon seller when you're launching say you know, let's just say like a fishing kit, right? And then you put in your top competitor's fishing kit in there. You wanna know which keywords your competitor is ranking for so that you know what to target in your back end of your listing and also that you know what to target in your PPC, right? And so there's also the listing builder, which is incredible. I actually just built a listing for a YouTube video um, for a smart car air freshener. And it actually goes and it rates your listing out of 10 and it helps to make sure that you put in all of the top keywords of your competitor into the listing so that you don't miss anything because on Amazon, how listings and products are ranked are all based on keywords first and then based off of uh, sales. When you first launch, obviously you have no sales. So the only thing that Amazon has to go with is your keywords, right? So those are the most important features of the Jungle Scout online suite. And we're actually going to use it. I'm going to show you. They also have some other cool features like FBA reimbursements. So you can basically uh, you know, claim thousands of dollars that you owed from Amazon and automate your FBA refunds because sometimes there's just delays. And then we also have ads analytics and then also P&L statements and profit overview. And that's uh, when your seller central account is actually selling products. They also have a cool academy here, uh, which uh, also shows you how to like use the Jungle Scout features as well. And then finally, they have the extension. So let's go to the extension. Uh, and if you purchase one of the plans in my link down below, you get access to both this, the web app, as well as the extension. So now I'm going to click on the extension. You can also just go on Google and type in Jungle Scout Chrome extension, and it's going to take you to the page right here. And 
Uh, it's gonna ask you to log in. There's also a Google Chrome link. So if you actually paid for Jungle Scout already, you can just download this and then it's going to ask you to log in, okay? And then once you've installed it, it's going to look like this, okay? And then you just click log in. So log in with the account that you created. So now that we're logged into our Jungle Scout Chrome extension, now I'm going to do a sample search on Amazon. So let's try doing, uh, for example, we're gonna search for a UV uh, sanitizer, which are very popular products on Amazon right now because people are very germophobic. And so if we pull up our Jungle Scout Chrome extension, just by clicking on it like this, now it's going to load all of the monthly revenues and all of the data uh, for the products on this page here. And this works on, not only on search uh, pages, if you just search for anything on Amazon, it works for that, but it also works on product listing pages. So if I actually click on any one of these, right click and click open link and new tab, it also works on the product page over here, as you can see, and it shows us that, that this light sanitizer is making $98,269 per month. We can see how many units per day it's selling. If you click on this, it also shows us the daily sales graph. This is very, very helpful if you wanna see what the historical sales is like. And also, if you use my link down below, you don't get a limit to one month. You actually are able to look two years back. So we can see here for this product that uh, it really picked up in sales around January of 2024. And prior to that, it was kind of, it was still selling a lot. But then really this year, we can see that every week it started selling in the hundreds, right? Where it was selling back then 20 per week or, you know, 50 per week. So five to 10 units a day, basically. So that's how the Chrome extension works. And not only does it show you product revenues, but it also shows you uh, the amount of reviews. It shows you the date first available, which is very, very useful because uh, when we're doing product research, if we see a product that uh, has been, has become available closer to today's date, let's say within the last six months, and it's already doing revenue of above 10,000 dollars per month that's a very good sign because then in that case it's like oh wow you know they just launched and they're already making money potentially signaling a viable product another cool thing about this chrome extension is that it shows us amazon fees uh for any product as well so let's say we want to know okay well they're making one hundred forty thousand a month but how much in fees are they paying for every single unit sold all you have to do is click on it as you can see and then it shows us the total fees twenty three dollars fifty one cents leaving a net of seventy two dollars and forty eight cents uh, for every unit. Of course, the uh, Jungle Scout doesn't know how much they're also paying for each unit to their supplier. There's no way for Jungle Scout to know that, but Jungle Scout actually goes in the back end of the product uh, on Amazon and they pull their FBA fees. We can see the fulfillment fee is $8.12, which is the fee that Amazon charges the seller for basically shipping out the product and taking care of the customer service and the refunds and just getting it from the warehouse to the customer with Amazon Prime. And the referral fee is the 15% fee that you pay to Amazon just for being able to sell on the platform, basically. They just charge a referral fee. And the whole goal of selling on Amazon is that even with your fees, you are netting a margin of 30%. All right. So anybody that says that the maximum margins on Amazon are 15%, no, it's just because they're not good enough sellers. It's just like anything. If you suck at the game, you suck at the game. It's really simple, right? And if you have the desire, you can get really good at the game. So that's the Chrome extension. This is just uh, part of it here. You can also see an opportunity score here. And basically Amazon ranks the, the specific product from one to 10 uh, on like what it uh, considers uh, as an opportunity. And here for this UV sanitizer, it's saying it's a seven out of 10 because there's a lot of listings that don't have that many reviews. We can see here, yes, there's a few that have 14,000 reviews and 12,000, but there's a lot of other ones that only have a few hundred or even less. And on Amazon US, if only a few of the listings have you know thousands of reviews or tens of thousands and the rest don't really have much at all and they're still making money, that's a good sign. So here we can see that it's a seven and the maximum number could be a 10. We can see that there's high demand, low competition. So the lower the demand, the higher the competition, you know, the more the the more sellers there are selling this product and the lower that there is money to be made, the lower the score is going to be. So that's how that works. And it's not always like, I don't always look at the opportunity score. It's really only useful when you're starting out as a beginner. Once you get good at this and once you've, you already have one product behind your belt, you know, you have one product up on Amazon, two products, three products, you're gonna look at this less and less because you're gonna be able to gauge what a good product opportunity is just from looking at Jungle Scout and, and analyzing this data. I actually just put together a product research guide with AI on this channel, as well as on my Ecom Academy channel. It's two completely separate videos. You can go check them out. And I'm making videos on YouTube every week on Amazon FBA, showing you the latest and greatest product research techniques, how to get an Amazon FBA business up and running and start a successful brand so that you can work from anywhere, travel the world and make money and be fully remote. So uh, you can check that out. The link is down below for my Ecom Academy channel. And that's our new platform. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. And that's where I'm actually doing my Saturday live mentorship sessions. You can go ahead and tune in every single Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern time. That's North American time, uh, New York time or Toronto time, Miami time. I'm doing
doing our live mentorship calls there. So you can check those out. Uh, you can tune in, just subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you get a notification as soon as I go live. And I'm going to be doing that every Saturday on that channel. So if you can ask me any questions you want there, it's totally free. Another amazing feature on Jungle Scout is that you can actually have it show the sales data for each product directly on the page. So I'm, a, I'm going to enable it here in the settings. Right now I have it disabled. So, um, and I have it disabled because I just, I'm used to the old fashioned way of just pulling up the Chrome extension. But honestly, if I was doing it now, if I was starting now, I'd probably get used to this. So what we can do is we can close this. And what we're gonna do is we're going to refresh the page and we're gonna see if Jungle Scout actually shows us um, all that information that we requested it to show. Here we go. So it's showing us all of this information below the product. So we don't even have to pull up the Chrome extension. You can see here, right? You can see uh, monthly revenue. You can see daily units sold, monthly units sold, right? So all of that is available conveniently right below the product. And then also if we actually click into the product with those options enabled, which you can enable too, it's going to pop up at the top of the product listing. So we just have to wait a little bit. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. It's trying to, you know, it has to keep information on all the products available on Amazon. It has to update them like every day, multiple times a day. So right here we can see it pulled up all this information for the product. We can see exactly what it's showing us in the Chrome extension, right? So same information here, $140,337 per month, the monthly units sold, the daily units sold, Everything is also shown here with those options enabled, right? Net revenue again is uh, the $95.99, so the product price minus the FBA fees. Obviously, they don't know how much they're paying their supplier for this product. If I had to guess, probably $20, $30 per unit, leaving them a profit of probably $30, $40 uh, per unit organically. And if it was a PPC sale, obviously that varies. PPC is Amazon advertising. I'm going to make a PPC video on the Ecom Academy channel, a complete PPC guide. So go there, subscribe, tune into my live mentorship session every Saturday. And you can ask me any questions that you'd like there. One of my favorite parts about Jungle Scout is that it shows us that uh, old sales data, so the historical sales data. You can see here that we can select three months, six months, one year, two years up here. And this does what this other extension called Keepa uh, used to do. It shows a chart below any Amazon product and it shows uh, the sales rank. So on Amazon, all products are ranked by their sales and that's called a BSR, a bestseller rank. And how it works is that the lower the rank on Amazon, the more uh, sales it's making per day. So we can see here that for this UV light sanitizer, and this is available for any product that you can see on Amazon, we can see that the rank has been actually getting better and it really started to get better in April of 2024. So from April 2024 to May 2024, it went from 52,000 to 22,000. And prior to that, it really was launched only in November of 2023. If we open up Jungle Scout here, let's see when it was first available. Exactly, October 18, 2023 is when it first their first batch of units arrived into Amazon, and they really only started getting sales around January, February for this particular product, right? Because it just takes some time to get you know your uh, sales up. It takes some time to get your reviews. It varies for a lot of people. For me, I've had many products that have gone like from zero to a hundred, a lot of sales within honestly the first month and two months. Uh, for others, for other products, you know, sometimes it takes three months, four months, and then you get a hit, right? But what can happen for a product on Amazon, like how fast your sales can change and increase on Amazon and is honestly mind blowing. Like it can go from zero to 10 units a day, even 30 and 50 units a day really quickly with the right product. So this is essentially what Keepa does. It's included in Jungle Scout, so you don't have to pay twice, which is always amazing. And it shows you up to two years and it can show you based on month, week, and based on day. It also shows us the product dimensions and other useful information as well. So now my favorite way to do product Product research using the Jungle Scout suite is to actually use the product database, okay? And here I select um, specific categories that I wanna do uh, research in. I'm gonna actually create a video on the best uh, categories to sell on Amazon in, in 2024 and 2025. So you can watch that and then you'll know which categories to actually put in here. But let's say that we're searching in the beauty and personal care category, right? What I do here is I select a minimum price of $40 and then I do a minimum revenue of 10,000. And the reason why I do a minimum, minimum price of $40 and a minimum revenue of 10,000 is because we're looking for products that we can sell for at least $40 on Amazon and that have actual proven sales. So if it has $10,000 per month in sales, that means that you know it's selling well and it's selling for above $40. The reason why we wanna sell products for above $40 and not less is because in the past, yes, you could sell a product for $25 and make a 40% margin, but now with rising shipping costs and things like that, shipping costs have increased a little bit, uh, product costs have increased, and so that's why if we 
we, if you focus on selling products that are above $40 to begin with, uh, the amount extra that you have to pay your supplier is not that much more. Like it might go from $6 to $12 or $15 per unit, but the amount of profit that you make with the extra uh, price, the extra sale price is a lot higher. It's just so much easier to hit that goal of $100,000 a year in sales if you're making a profit per unit of, you know, $15 uh, profit rather than like five or $4 profit per unit, right? It takes, it's, it would take double or triple the amount of unit sales per day. Okay, and then what we wanna do is put in a minimum of 20 reviews just to uh, remove any like glitched products that are showing a huge amount of revenue with no reviews. And then we want to select FBA. We don't wanna select Amazon or FBM because FBM is uh, basically non-prime products and that could include a lot of like restricted products, you know, products that are not allowed to be sold on Amazon FBA. And we also don't wanna include Amazon because Amazon has a lot of brand deals with various brands out there. And they, uh, usually it's like Bose and like, you know, very big products like Bose headphones, for example. We're not gonna go and create our own set of Bose, obviously, right? And so, here we can click exclude unavailable products and then exclude top brands and then we can hit search. And so what it's gonna do now is it's going to start looking through all of Amazon in the beauty and personal care category and find us products that hit this criteria. And I actually have a whole other video called the Complete Product Research Guide. I'm actually in the process of making it now. By the time you watch this, it's probably gonna be out, especially if it's in later 2024 and 2025, you can watch that. And I show you how to start with this product uh, research method and then go down what I call the Amazon rabbit hole, which is the way that I found all of my successful products. It's the way that I made my first six figures online. And honestly, it's incredible. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of uh, wigs. So we need to exclude on Jungle Scout. What's amazing is that you can exclude a bunch of annoying products that we're not going to sell. So we can exclude wig. We can just type that in. And now it's going to fix the search results for us. All right, here we go. So now we can see a bunch of different uh, products that could potentially be good product opportunities to sell. So let's see here. We have this Gorilla Technique 3-in-1 Epilator Body Hair Removal Device. Cool. So we're going to do is we're going to click on the View on Amazon button. So we can see here that it's selling for $59.98. We can see that it's selling $15,000 a month. It has 24 reviews, so it literally just launched, right? So it launched, uh, date first available was, if we pull up our Chrome extension, we can see that. So uh, April, April 2nd, right? So and it's already making $15,000 a month. And don't know what the Gorilla Technique is, but obviously it's some kind of a special epilator tool. What we can do is we can go up to all departments, type in three in one epilator. And we can see here all of the different epilators out there. And if we open up Jungle Scout, it's going to give us our opportunity score. I'm actually curious what it says for this one. Let's see. All right, cool. So it's giving us a seven, which is great. There's a lot of different products here, not that many reviews. A lot of them are making really good money. The Philips one is making the highest amount of money. What I would do in this case is I would actually see if I can source uh, the Philips one on Alibaba, which is the Chinese supplier site. And I would try to read through all the negative reviews of these top products and figure out a way to, a way to make it better. And I'd also do research on this Gorilla Epilator, Gorilla Technique one. Clearly, um, you know, it's popular for whatever reason, right? People like it. So that's a product right there. So that's how you use the product database. And in my product research complete guide, which uh, you'll find on my Ecom Academy channel, subscribe to that link down below. That's where I'm gonna show you how to actually go down the Amazon rabbit hole. It is the product research method that I've used to find all of my top products on Amazon. Pretty much like all except my intuition, honestly. Uh, ones that I've just come up with on my intuition. So that's how you use the product database. And basically there is, as you can see, this is just 50 out of the 6,500. You can spend days and days and weeks going through this to find a successful product. So let's say that we wanna run with this product. Cool, so what we're gonna do is we're going to grab the product ASIN here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the product tracker. And I'm gonna show you how this works. Okay, so we're going to create a new uh, group of products, United States, three in one, epilator. Oops. Okay, next. Here we can put in the product ASIN, as you can see, and it's showing us recommended products. And we wanna put in three, right? So let's put in uh, this one, let's put in like this one right here. All right, copy the ASIN, we put it in. The ASIN is the unique identifier for each product on Amazon. Amazon automatically generates this uh, code, like B with letters and numbers after, uh, to identify any product that's sold on the platform. And here we can click on create and add products. Okay, so now what it's going to do is it's going to start tracking these two products specifically every single day. So if I go to my mousetrap buckets here, my mousetrap testers, and we click on this button, uh, this button right here, it is tracking it very, very specifically. So it basically starts looking at these products like more closely and it gets you much more accurate data as soon as you start tracking it.
right? So that's really cool. Basically, if I would just check back tomorrow or the day after in a week or two weeks, that's what it would show us. And it's really, really useful because uh, it shows us exactly how many units per day it's selling, according to Jungle Skid, obviously. Uh, it's showing us how much the revenue is, and it shows us product trends. Next, we have the opportunity finder on the left. And this is similar to the product database, but rather than showing us individual products, it shows us uh, general niches and opportunities is what they call it. But basically, it's based on Amazon keywords. So right here, Clairol Beautiful Collection. Clearly, it is selling a lot. We can see here uh, that it's selling a lot of units per day. And here it shows us all of the uh, top products for it. So Clairol is obviously a big brand, uh, but I just basically hit beauty and personal care. And here, if I type in epilator, and if I hit search, we can see what the most popular searches are for epilators. We can see facial hair epilator for women. Competition is low. We can see that it's uptrending 30 days over the last 30 days, 90 days, 41% higher. We can see the average price and we can see the uh, monthly average units sold. And if we click view, we go to top products, we can see all the top products for facial hair epilators for women. It's a great uh, way to actually look at niches rather than look at individual products and find money-making niches. There's a lot of niches on Amazon you would never think of on your own that using this tool you could find and then go down the rabbit hole method, which I'll show on that video on my Ecom Academy channel. And you can go through that and you are bound to find a good product. Next, we have the supplier database as I showed previously. And I'm gonna show you the supplier database in action here. So if I type in a sample product like the Bodum French Press, which is a huge uh, brand of French presses. I'm sure you've seen it if you've been to like Crate and Barrel or any of the you know home uh, home goods stores in your country. If I type in Bodum in the supplier database and I hit search and I search by company, we can see a list of all of the suppliers that supply Bodum. We can see they have a few of their own factories, one in Spain, uh, one in Portugal, and then we can see a Chinese one here that supplies Bodum. They have 42 shipments to Bodum. Ningbo World Crown Houseware Company, right? We also have Dragon Wool Enterprise in Hong Kong, and they ship, they supply to Bissell, they supply to Bodum, they supply to what else? Uh, Hayer. So that is the supplier database. It's great. And for the you know very small brands, obviously, if they just started selling or something, you're not going to find it because it's based off of the most recent import records. And those are not constantly updated. I think it's year to year. But uh, especially for any brands that have been selling for longer than six months, a year, you're going to find them here most likely. All you have to do is type in their name and then you're, you can see their suppliers. And if I type in Ningbo Cafe Electric, we can see this is literally Bodum's supplier in China, and uh, we found their Alibaba page down there as well. Now we have the Keyword Scout. So let's say that I want to uh, sell the Gorilla Technique three-in-one epilator, right? So let me show you how to see exactly what keywords they're ranking for, okay? And they just started selling, they're making $15,000 a month in revenue. So if I put in the product ASIN and I hit search, it's going to show us exactly which keyword it's ranking for. This is very useful if we launch our own three-in-one epilator because we know exactly which keywords to target for for our Amazon PPC, which is our Amazon advertising. That's when we pay Amazon to show us at the top of listings. And also it shows us how easy it's going to be to rank for these keywords. Um, as well as the average bid. So it's all very useful information. It allows you to really dominate PPC because most sellers on Amazon don't do this. We can see they're ranked for epilator, but it's very difficult to rank. So we're gonna skip that. Epilator's hair removal for women, different story. Easy to rank, right? We don't see a bid, but likely it's probably lower. We can also see here they're ranked for depiladora para mujer, which is like the Spanish uh, way to say, you know, epilator for women. Uh, because Amer in America, there's a lot of Spanish speaking people, right? And they just don't, you know, they might not speak English. So they just uh, go on Amazon, they type it, they type in the product they want in Spanish. And so see, just like that, we know exactly what keywords to put in the back end of our listing that cover the Spanish speakers as well, giving us a boost in sales. And then we have the listing builder. And here we can create a keyword list. So we're going to click select all, add keywords to list. We're going to type in epilator create list, then you can add in as many products as you want here. And then in keyword lists, when I click in here, we can see our keywords for epilator. You can see that here. And then what we can do is when we go to listing builder, you click on create a new listing, and then you go draft a listing, and then we can select our keyword list, which is epilator. And now it's going to show us all of these keywords here, and it's going to make sure that we actually uh, draft our listing with the right title, the right features, and the right product description, including these uh, keywords, so it's going, to, it's going to ensure that we get the most amount of sales for this product possible. And I have a whole video on how to create a beautiful 10 out of 10 listing. You can check that out on my Ecom Academy channel. Link is down below. One of my favorite features of Jungle Scout is the review automation. And what this does is it eliminates the tedious task of manually requesting reviews on Seller Central by turning on
turning on this feature. And so what happens is you turn it on for your Amazon Seller Central account, and basically it starts to automatically send messages to every single one of your orders, every single one of your customers, asking them to leave you an honest review. And that's going to really help to boost your reviews and make sure that you are getting the most amount of product reviews possible in the fastest possible time. And then of course we have sales analytics, which is very useful. We had a test product here a while ago that we ran. So if I go to, um, this was just for the purpose of building a case study. And we can see here, this is a very easy way for you to see how much you've made, your total revenue, uh, your cost of goods. We can see here like the order fees and things like that. You can see that it's showing us a profit of 114,000 for that product. So it's basically a PL statement, which is a profit and loss uh, statement. And then you also have FBA reimbursements. And there's a few other features, but those are my top favorite features of Jungle Scout. Now I spend every day and every week making Amazon videos on my Ecom Academy channel, which the link for is down below, where I do my live Q&A sessions every Saturday, my live mentorship sessions that you can tune into. And the reason I do that is because Amazon, the opportunities with Amazon have actually grown. And now it's more accessible than ever. Not only if you want to start a successful Amazon FBA business, but also if you want to become an Amazon FBA freelancer or consultant. Also, if you want to get an Amazon FBA remote job, there's so many jobs available in the United States, in Canada, in Europe, all over the world, in Asia. So that's all on the Ecom Academy channel. I also put together a free crash course for which the link is down below to show you how you can get started accessing these opportunities right now so that you don't have to wait. There's so many people out there that want to start making money online, whether that's through a remote job or just with a remote work from home business. And I show you exactly how to do that the right way right now in 2024. Link is down below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, link for Jungle Scout is down below. It is the cheapest link available online. That's my partner link with them. And I thank you once again for watching and for being here with me today. And I hope you have a great day.